Hey guys, welcome back in my tutorials. I'm sorry I've been off for a while, so today I'm gonna teach you how to draw a real ship using SolidWorks. But the thing is, we are not gonna design a ship. We are gonna model it. And there is a huge difference between modeling and designing. The modeling means uh, you have the data, the dimensions of any part, something like um, that. And uh, we're gonna just make it to a 3D model. We have the 2D sketch and we're gonna make it a 3D model. While designing means you are gonna get the dimensions using rules. Something like that. I have these parts and I want rules to make me design the, the part. And then I'm gonna uh, make it a 3D model. Every engineer should know that and I hope you guys already know it. So here is some ships I've designed uh, already using SolidWorks and KeyShot and this one we're gonna model today and um, this one I've already uh, designed it and this yacht also. Um, but today we're gonna just model this one. Okay, let's get the ball rolling. I'm gonna start with, let's make a new part. Okay. The first thing I'm gonna do now is to import my points and those points, you can get them from um, offset table. If you guys wanna know how I got them, uh, you can just watch my previous tutorials and you can get the file from the descriptions down below. Um, so I'm gonna open the points right now. Hit the hull. Okay, okay. We got an error in here, and that's what I wanted to happen. So, because I wanted to show you how to fix this error, we're gonna just uh, click on X and um, we're gonna jump to SolidWorks and click on Scan to 3D so I can activate it. Uh, I'm gonna open this file again and import my points in here. Yeah, uh, it's already done. If you guys see it, I do not know if you can see it or not, but it is really good let's jump to other error but first we are gonna create a 3d model we're gonna and use SP line to make um, to join each point in the station together like um, this is a station so I want to join all these points together that one that something like that I'm gonna make all these points join together Okay, we're done now. So let's take a peek at my body plan. Well, if I draw a line in here, which is my ground, uh, that looks kind of good, but I don't think this is what we want. So I'm gonna draw a line in here. Um, oops. Can you see this? Those curves are not tangent to the ground. There is no hull of any ships looks like that. So we need to fix this. We need to fix all these curves. So the other two I'm gonna use uh, is the curve on this. Uh, let's uh, just 
close this sketch and I'm uh, just gonna jump to curve through reference point when I use this uh, tool let's, can you see that uh, can you see this curve it's already not good so I'm gonna fix it let's just jump into it and use my tool which is curve through reference points and I'm gonna click on every point in here can you see this and let's just take a peek again wow it's just get fixed because um, it gets a little bit sharper uh, but it looks uh, kind of perfect because it's tangent to the ground uh, we're gonna make all the curves with this tool so we can get better curves and better uh, shape almost done uh, let's just take a pick again can you see guys it all fixed up and it's all above the ground and that's what I want and that's what makes me happy uh, this tool is the most beautiful tool uh, this tool will make my curves uh, a little bit sharper that's why I'm so happy with it if you guys import the same points in MaxSurf software you're gonna get the same error but you can fix it using uh, control points like uh, moving the point upward and downward until you are happy with it that's why I didn't like uh, I didn't like it in MaxSurf and if you guys don't know what MaxSurf is it's as a ship designing software just for ships okay after that we are just gonna hide this 3d sketch and um gonna make and uh, create a new 3d sketch and just click on every curve in here and just click on convert entities that one too and let's just close this sketch well and let's just uh, also hide these curves okay the second thing we're gonna do now uh, is to draw my profile and uh, my profile needs uh, the stern and the bow in here so I'm gonna just import my bow and my stern using curve through through X Y and Z points okay let's just browse and in here bow okay profiles bow here I got my bow okay and same thing for my stern okay <clears throat> I know you guys wondering why I didn't just uh, import the point of these curves uh, why didn't I just import it with those Points. and the reason why I did this I didn't want to mix up all those points together uh, and I mean if I show this let's take a look in here can you see there is interfere between those points and those points so I do not want you to get freaked out like which point belongs to which curves so that's why I didn't want to mix this all together well let's just hide this again and jump to the front plane and create a sketch and I'm gonna take this one uh, convert entities and this one also we get convert entities and join those points together well can you see this shaded this shade means uh, my sketch is closed and um, this tool is really really good also because 
if you uh, doesn't know my sketch is closer or not you can just uh, use this shaded sketch contour uh, activated and it will let you know uh, if your sketch is closer or not this just close this sketch and after that we're gonna use this tool again and just join all these together and here can you see it so we're gonna make uh, create a new sketch on the top and just make this convert entities and close the sketch we're gonna make a new sketch parallel to the top plane and let's just pick a point in here and um, gonna create a sketch so I'm gonna use uh, the SP line tool because uh, the reason why I did this and I didn't use the other tool because uh, I want my stern with different shape like if I go in here and there is my stern I want my stern not looks like that I do not want it to be like that I just want that a little bit vertical and yeah that's what I want uh, that looks so good so I'm gonna close this sketch and uh, this just jump to the surfaces and uh, the tool I'm gonna use now is uh, the boundary surface not the lofted surface because boundary surface has uh, extra options uh, that's why I always use it I do not I barely use uh, lofted surface so in here I'm gonna use this sketch and that sketch and in guide I'm gonna just use selection manager and get in here and that one after that I'm gonna just use all these curves to give me the hull form I want Well, we're, we're almost done, but there is a very, very important thing to do. I need this line, uh, the surface in here, be normal to the line and tangent to the ground. So I'm going to use, I'll pick that line and click on normal to profile. Okay. And I'm just going to make it to 100. This will give me better shape and better. Can you see this? And we're just gonna have a party uh, as soon as possible. So it looks really good. Well, uh, I'm gonna mirror from features. I'm gonna get uh, this plane. And I'm gonna use bodies to mirror. I'm not gonna use features because it will let me uh, need the surface so I'm gonna just pick on this surface and make it net surfaces and just click OK after that we have a vacancy here we need to fill it so we're gonna jump to surfaces and click filled surface and pick this and that and OK yeah that's good that's really good and use it again to close this from above and that one well if you guys can see it it really looks amazing I just want to hide this and that and that let's look at the profile that looks amazing that looks good and uh, from above I wanted my stern to be looks like that that's why I made uh, with a uh, speed line this jump to the forecastle which is gonna be like that 
and my poop which is gonna be in here in the back and I have uh, po uh, curves also for these uh, and you guys can get them from uh, down below I'm gonna use curves here from uh, X, Y, and Z points and browse and um, all files for castle okay here I got my curve uh, so I'm gonna do now the front curve it looks in, in, in the front plane I'm gonna make a new sketch and click on that and convert entities and I'm gonna use SP line in here and I make sure those have the same curvatures just to be like that. okay they have the same curvature and just I'm gonna close the sketch the other one I want I want to know how it's gonna be like so outward or inward uh, from the hub so I also have this curves I'm gonna use that one too browse oh, files for castle okay that's what it's gonna be look like that looks good I'm gonna make a new sketch in here on the surface and I'm gonna use convert entities in here and draw a line and just know the distance in here let's just say it's 20 20 is perfect it's kind of perfect and I'm gonna just convert this to construction and delete trim all these and call this catch okay uh, after that I'm gonna use um, the surface boundary surface again um, your clear selections and I'm gonna use this one and selection manager and that one it gave me error again but by using um, the guide curve uh, selection manager and put that one that looks amazing well I'm so happy with that so I'm gonna use right now the trim tool just let's just hide this one and um, show that one show uh, I'm gonna just use trim surface and use this tool not the whole sketch okay doesn't matter and I'm gonna click on here to remove just make sure this remove selections and I'm gonna remove it from here that kind of looks awesome I'm just gonna hide this I'm gonna hide this too and I'm gonna mirror that one to mirror around the front plane sketch and its surface well that looks amazing my uh, four castle uh, that looks amazing and I'm happy with it let's just jump to my stern and the stern in here uh, you can't just uh, draw any poop you want because it, it's not it, it's given but you can just draw any uh, thing you want so let's just jump in here and draw a sp line and I want those have the same uh, have the same curvature and um, that's gonna be good if they are on the same line I'm gonna just make these together that looks so good right I'm gonna make that construction and let's just close the sketch well let's make a new sketch in here on the surface and convert entities and just another line vertical 
construction and the distance from here it's gonna be 40 uh, let's trim tool in here in there and just close the sketch then after that we're gonna use this web surface and my profile is this one and my path is that um they just uh, pick on the sketch okay so after that we're gonna just uh, make the shape of uh, of my poop and here I'm gonna make another sketch uh, on the front sketch and uh, making here kind of line with oh point seven five and is this one After that, we're going to use the trim tool and pick these. And yeah, we've done, guys. We've done. We got this ship already done. It looks kind of good. And uh, it really, really looks amazing. Uh, we're going to continue in another tutorial how to make a. Uh, my super structure and uh, having my containers on it is a container ship so see you in the next tutorial